Greetings guys, this is Blight Stretch, this is an Angel 5 out of 10 Angel Red Light District. I'll be running this in a Tengu, I'll put the fit after this little, um, this section. I'll put a timestamp down below if you're more curious about the fit than actually how to run the site. Um, but the site for itself is relatively simple, it does have some high income DPS at some parts, but you won't be pointed or scrammed in a site, so if you're worried, you know, there's a line out, or about if you need, there will be webs and like I believe target painters in this site, but nothing to like hold you down. Three pockets, the first one being you just need to kill all the NPCs, then you'll be able to activate the gate. Nothing too noble in this first pocket, I usually start with cruisers and do this frigates and then move on to battleships. There's one battleship of note in this first pocket and that's that Captain Rogue NPC. You'll notice he gives you more of a bounty, I think it's like 3 mil or 3.5 mil. He has a potential. To drop faction modules it is incredibly rare but it's worth checking whilst you kill the other battleships just kill that battleship first as you slow boat towards them loot them potentially get something kill the other battleships whilst you do so um like you can get like domination like tracking um enhancers these kind of things which are nice little drop i think you probably get um a gyro but again it all depends on your luck so it's worth trying or checking but um don't expect much from that first npc the, you want to work, there is a lot of NPCs in this first pocket and unfortunately there's a lot of frigates which kind of are hamstrung to apply to. Um, but yeah, we'll make quick work of those. Just keep an eye on your D-scan, especially whilst most 5 out of 10s that you complete will be in low sec. So just pe keep a mindful eye for combat probes, constantly be D-scanning. You'll notice my D-scan one is constantly flashing because I'm very paranoid. And you want to stay paranoid because that's how you keep your uh, whatever ship you're using to do these things alive. Second pocket, very similar to the first, still quite easy, there's less uh, smaller things which is good, less frigates, less like destroyers, destroyers aren't too much an issue, you can work through them incredibly quickly, but um, yeah, I usually do cruisers first and move on to the battleships. Um, not too much of note in this site, there is one structure you'll need to kill, you'll see it in the middle there for like the sort of rock formations with the little circle, and that um, gets you the key to activate the gate. But unfortunately, you also need to kill the NPCs and get a key to activate the gate. But if you already have that key from a previous site, you can just activate the gate whilst when you have killed all the NPCs. Um, because it's um, used up on activation. So it's a good thing to uh, keep a hold of once you complete these sites. Or I guess, like if you're hunting people in these sites, it's good to have it on you as well. So just keep that in mind if someone's like hunting you. You're in the last pocket and you expect someone not to be able to get inside because you've killed a structure. I uh, think again, so you might potentially have that key be able to just slide in uh, after you. So just keep that in mind. Um, but usually once there's someone already scanned down your site and already in it, I just completely abandon the site unless you're incredibly close to finishing it. Um, as soon as you see scan, uh, combat probes, just add a tend to abandon the site. And that's it. Just, just, just like go on with your business. <laughs> um... But yeah, you'll, scanning's down in low sec. I will show you a little tip um, or strategy you can do to farm these sites in mass. And that's why I do. And this is usually my sort of income. Um, we'll put it at the end, though. After this. So continuing to kill these battleships. This Tengu we're rocking does insane DPS, man. Especially after the, what's it called? Surgical Strike Patch. Where Rage Missiles are got a 15% damage increase. So we're actually doing 1100 DPS in this Tengu, which is amazing. Um, although it's kinetic bonus, that isn't really optimal for angels. You ideally want to be doing Nova or explosive ammo to these guys. But kinetic is their second lowest resistance, not too bad. So you see we kill that structure. You see the guardian gate key. You see I already have one in my hold. I pick up the other one just to show. And these aren't used on activation. You see I have two there. We activate gate and we still have both of these when we get to the third pocket. Now this third pocket, you'll need to basically carry javelin missiles. So you want to kill these three webbing towers first, and whilst those webs are on you, you're going to receive a lot of income DPS. So don't be afraid to align out here, because nothing's going to point you. If you feel like the income DPS is insane, then you can just warp out. After killing those three webbing towers, the tank on this Tengu sort of struggles. Whilst we get super close and start orbiting the structure we need to kill for our loot. So I take down some of these cruisers, which is quite... Quite quickly done. And um, yeah, just orbit this angel retirement home, which is your loom pinata. That's where the blast of the loot's gonna come from. That's 
that's where you're really hoping for like good drops man like the i don't know the b type adaptives um guess b type adaptives or something like that but um you'll see also i'll include some other loot drops from i think it was like seven or eight sites i did you'll see generally what kind of loot i get i don't actually get much luck i don't unfortunately get an invulnerability field so i feel like my drops were kind of unlucky but you'll sort of see like what you can expect loot wise from the site this structure does take a while to kill once it's dead, a little pop up will like pop up. That'll basically be confirming that your site is done. Loot your little cargo container, and you see how much did we get? 190 mil, which is quite nice. That overseer's personal effect. You want to send a uh, sell a Concord station, and just like the ABs and whatever modules you get, just uh, sell them in Jita. Okay, here we're seeing sort of all the loot I got from the sites that I ran. Um, I only got managed to include seven of these because I don't know where the eighth one went. I must have deleted it accidentally. <laughs> but you will see the final loot haul that I get. It's not very impressive. But, uh, you could get. That's the thing with the these sites, man. It's incredibly RNG heavy. One day you could be making like two bill an hour. That's a bit excessive, but you know what I mean. We can be constantly get like adaptive drops or whatever. Because uh, B type adaptive or guest B type adaptive is where you really want to drop. It's about 400 mil, I, I believe. In Gita at the moment, so it's a really nice drop. Um, the prop mods that drop from the site are also quite nice and signable BPCs. I got quite a few of these signable BPCs, and they're worth about 110 to 120 mil. Um, and also to note, you probably make about 15 mil in worth of bounties from these sites. So see, that's basically what we all got there. 422 um, mil estimate, and then what's that? Like I'll probably sell those signable BPCs for 120 each. So a nice little sum. Um. Like that's a guaranteed 346 mil from the overseer's personal fix and you'll see basically like all the other little loot so nothing too crazy but nice nice little sum um it usually took me about 22 minutes to complete these sites so they do take a while to do but this is the fit i was using um i'd say it's actually on the cheaper end of strategic cruisers for running these sites um 870 mil i am using the Abyssal Ballistic Controls, you'll see, but they're T2 rolled ones, which is incredibly cheap to do, and it gets you, a, you get a lot from it, right? So I recommend doing this, um, Abyssal rolling some T2 Ballistic Controls. Or if you really wish, you could use Faction Ballistic Controls. Um, it's very unlikely you're going to get caught in these sites if you basically know what you're doing and you have a keen eye. So nothing too much else crazy to um, comment on this. I am using implants, so you'll notice. I'm using... um. Midgrade Crystals without an Omega, because I was too lazy to, what's it called, inject for the Omega, so I can actually use Omega, so instead I use a Warp Speed, just to get around quicker. And then two 5% um, damage implants, a 5% rate of fire, I believe, and a 5% to damage. So, yeah, nothing too crazy about this fit, and uh, yeah, it seems to be doing us quite well. Okay, this was a little tip that I mentioned as to farm these 5 out of 10s in mass. What you can do is go to High Sec Islands, um... Ideally, like 0 0.5 sec, like this Otarnas, and um, it's in that low sec island. What you want to do is fit heavy missile launchers if you can have the skills to do so, and use auto targeting missiles. I also recommend taking the active mods that you'd normally use for completing the sites, and then put some large shield extenders and on just so you can avoid being ganked, right? Um, you can still be ganked, but these kind of are a bit of a deterrent. If you're just using like an active tank, it'd be very easy for like a tornado or a couple of tornadoes to kill you. So um, you're best just using, cracking on a couple of large shield extenders. And um, yeah, just um, you can't like, I'm not sure if this is with the other races, um, like Ristas or what's called Serpentis, but refuges, um, angel refuges escalate to five out of 10 TD sites, the angel red light districts that we're doing. And then, so you want to basically just clear all the refuges you see the dens, you'll see how quickly we just like crack through this one. The dens take a bit of a while, but the refuges are quite quick. So if you see a bunch of refuges, you're kind of laughing because you're, I'd say one in 15 of these sites, it's not like a huge escalation rate, but um, it's a very chill activity to do whilst you watch like Netflix or Twitch or, or your favorite YouTuber, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know, but um. Yeah, just um, crack these out. You'll see that once we complete this refuge, we actually get an escalation, which is um, brilliant, man. Usually, I try and save up like four or five, and then I run them all, and then chelks. These sites do become a bit monotonous, man. If you constantly run these, your brain will go numb, man. So I don't recommend doing so. But um, yeah, if you want some chill s making, and um, yeah, like uh, Ancient Red Light District just popped up there from completing that refuge, then yeah, you can do this. 
So I hope you enjoyed this guys. Hope I can make you some the skate to make you some esk. Um and yeah, good luck for your load drops, boys. I wish you all the B type adaptives. Alright, do take care, boys.